How to keep joints healthy? A joint is the connection between two bones. Joints and their surrounding structures allow you to bend your elbows and knees, wiggle your hips, bend your back, turn your head, and wave your fingers. Smooth tissue called cartilage and a lubricant called synovial fluid cushion the joints so bones do not rub together. But increasing age, carrying too much weight or injuries can wear and tear your cartilage. This can lead to a reaction that can damage your joints and lead to arthritis. The best way to care for your joints is to keep your muscles, ligaments, and bones strong and stable. These are the 7 easy steps you can take to keep your joints in good health. 1. Watch your weight. Keeping your weight within a healthy range is the best thing you can do for your joints. Overweight place extra strain on your weight-bearing joints, which are knees, hips, back and ankles. That's why so many overweight people have problems with these areas of the body. According to the Arthritis Foundation, every pound of excess weight results in an additional 4 pounds of extra pressure on your weight-bearing joints. The higher the number on scale, the more wear and tear you put on your joints. By achieving and maintaining a healthy weight, you can limit the amount of stress on your joints and reduce your risk of joint damage. 2. Exercise for healthy joints. Exercise can help you lose extra pounds and maintain a healthy weight. Some research suggests that aerobic exercise activities that get your heart rate up can reduce joint swelling. If your joints doesn't allow you for step aerobics, then opt for exercises that won't give your joints a pounding. Try low-impact activities such as swimming or bicycling. 3. Stay active. Staying active can help to reduce stiffness in your joints. If you are a couch potato, computer addict, or one who remain glued to a chair all day long, then you have a high risk for joint pain. Less movement means more stiffness in your joints. So, take small breaks at work, and stretch a bit or move around. 4. Stay strong. Strong muscles and bones provide support and stability for your joints. Adding strength training exercises to your routine can help you build muscles that keep your joints safe and surrounding ligaments strong. You can take the help of a certified trainer to learn to do the exercise correctly. Doing exercises incorrectly can increase the chances of injuries. 5. Building Strong Core Core muscles are the muscles that are attached to the spine. It include abdominal, back and chest muscles. When they are strong they provide stability to the entire torso. The core transfers forces between the upper and lower extremities. A strong core help to enhance balance and stability, and prevent spine and back related injuries. 6. Correct Posture Proper posture can prevent added stress on your joints and reduce your risk of injuries. Standing and sitting up straight protect your joints from your neck to your knees. Good posture also helps guard your hip joints and back muscles. Posture is also important when lifting and carrying. If you carry a backpack, put it over both shoulders, instead of slinging it over one, and when lifting heavy objects use the biggest muscles in your body by bending your knees instead of bending your back. This can protect you from a painful injury or joint damage. 7. Diet nourishes the joints. Eating healthy diet is good for your joints because it helps build strong bones and muscles and also help you lose excess weight. Eating proteins rich foods can help you build strong muscles. You can keep your bones strong by eating foods with calcium and vitamin D. 
foods such as milk, yogurt, broccoli, kale, figs, and fortified foods like soy milk or almond milk contains calcium. Sunlight is a great source of vitamin D. Omega-3 fatty acids rich foods like nuts and seeds can reduce inflammation in your joints. Other foods, such as tomatoes, olive oil, green leafy vegetables, berries, can also help to reduce inflammation. You can also take calcium supplements after consulting your doctor. If you find this video useful then give this video a like and share with your friends. Subscribe the channel and ring the bell to get all updates of the new videos. Thanks for watching.